Welcome to an exclusive first look at the Slinger Buffer Pickleball. Thanks to Framework Sports for the loan of this device, the first one anywhere in the EU. So what comes in the box with the Slinger Bag for Pickleball? You get a remote control to control the on-off function and the oscillator on and off. It comes with a mobile phone camera mount, a battery charger with worldwide adapters and an oscillator plate. And finally, a ball collection tube that you can use to collect balls after your session. One of the biggest features of the Slinger Bag over other ball machines is its storage. On the left hand side here, you can see there's a key and wallet pocket. It's also perfect to fit the Slinger remote control inside it as well. On the right hand side, there's a small phone pocket with a built-in USB port to plug in your phone to charge. Below that, on the same side, there's a water bottle pocket. It's also large enough to fit a towel or an iPad in as well. And on the top, there's a large storage space. It's got a little sleeve inside there to put your paddles in. I reckon you can get at least four paddles in here, a tripod, and also your shoes will also fit in the space. And finally, there's a lower flap to open and that's where you fill it with pickables to use your slinger as a ball machine. Let's get your slinger ready for use as a ball machine. Unzip the front door, open the flap, then secure it with a carabiner clip on the side. You then need to unzip the launch angle adjuster Set it to between 10 and 40 degrees placed upon your drill. On the left of the ball feeding window, you find the movable battery. You can charge inside or outside the machine. On the right, you'll find the master power switch, battery load indicator, and the charger port to charge on board. Below this, you'll find the speed control that varies between 15 and 45 miles per hour. You then find the spin control for backspin, flat, or top spin. You have the feed speed control and the oscillator power port. Place the slinger bag on the oscillating plate. You need a magnetic connector in the oscillator to connect to that port. So how do you use the slinger bag once it's set up? Simply use remote control to turn the machine on and off via the remote control. You can also control the oscillator with the bottom button. You'll hear a single beep to mean it's on. The flywheel will spin up you'll hear a slight whirring sound then you'll hear a longer beat which means it's about to launch a ball it's always useful to record your sessions and the slinger bag enables you to do that to review afterwards you can place your phone in landscape mode and attach it to the hand of the slinger bag and here's an example of a fixed view from my iphone 12 will notice a slight camera shake as each ball is fed. You'll also notice from the oscillating view that it's got a nice smooth pan motion, obviously driven by the oscillation plate. You can also use the phone in portrait mode. Here's a view for the camera. And this is what you're actually recording from the fixed view, slightly zoomed in on my iPhone 12. Here's an oscillating view. Again, a nice smooth pan, but again you'll get that slight camera shake as the ball's fed. Once your session is over, unclip the ball collector from the slinger bag. Extract the inner tube from the outer tube, lock it together, and you'll have to collect 18 balls within your slinger bag ball collector. Convert it, release the rubber strap on the top, check the balls back into your slinger bag, and reverse the process to put the inner tube back into the outer tube. Again, using the latches to lock it, attach the rubber handle. You can then attach the ball collector using the velcro strap on the side and the small clip at the top of the slinger bag. You can use your slinger bag to feed you a variety of balls. Here I'm practicing dink third shot drops, but it's just as simple as set it up for dinks cross court and down the line. Practicing volleys including dry volleys and block volleys. You can even feed yourself a lob to practice those smashes. Don't forget to subscribe here and connect on other platforms as I'm planning to release some videos of drills to use for your slinger bag and the perfect location to put your bag 
for any kind of shot you want to hit on a pickleball court. If you're looking to get some one-to-one -one lessons, small group work, or even a clinic, get in touch at advancedpickleball at gmail.com.